Hello everybody, this is Dark Magus 1990 and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last time we took on Sephiroth, one of the final optional bosses that we can fight in the game. But we're not going to be fighting the other optional boss until a little bit later. Today, we're going to be going to the final world. So, uh, um, just be fully prepared, be full of potions and ethers. And yeah, um... Also, I won't be getting the um, ultimate weapon until a little bit later. It will be after um, finishing the world, but I'm not going to be fighting the final, final boss. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the end of the world before fighting the final boss. And then I'm going to be doing the um, ultimate weapon synthesis guide. I will leave links in the description below in that episode. And then we'll fight the final optional boss before fighting the final boss. So, just so that I clear things up with that, um, whenever you're ready, let us depart. arrived here at our final world, so let's go ahead and go in. Um, there actually were some copies of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix that did not, like, have the beginning track or something like that. Um, I don't know why mine doesn't, but, um, yeah, if I let you know. Just in case you guys don't hear any music. So, let us start exploring. Gorge, is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha! But... If we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's going to happen to this place? And to us? Well, uh... This is a heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're right. I'll return this. I promise. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I kinda like that it's quiet in this part. Because, you know, gave that, um, you know, that atmosphere of, you know, this is it. This is gonna be the final threshold. Now, we're going to be running into random battles like in Final Fantasy right here, kind of. Um, we've seen these enemies in Olympus Coliseum. They are called Invisibles. Invisibles will drop synthesis items. There is one. There is the Gale, which is going to be needed for the Ultima Weapon Guide. So, let's open this guy up right... Oh, we can't open it yet. Hang on. We just got to wait a little bit. Um, there's also that other enemy that looked like a star of some sort or whatever. That is called an angel star. They drop, um, they do drop, uh, gales as well. 
So, I thought I'd let you know. Uh, some of these treasure chests hold battles, and others hold items. So, if I do run into a battle when I open a treasure chest, then I'm going to cut those out. Alright, we get a pretty stone from that, which really isn't that important. I mean, because, you know, it just doesn't... Oh, cool, a mega potion. You know, you sell those for cheap. And that's it. So. I bet this is a battle. Yep, be back. Oh, never mind. Um, this is another... Alter skinned behemoth, which is pretty cool. So, you know, same strategy, you know, just wail at it with your Keyblade and have Erga with. I mean, take a look at how much damage we're taking. We're dealing to the behemoth. Because we have, one, the one we need Angel equipped. Two, we are very high level. Three, we're just awesome that way. So, um,. Right now, I think um, Sora's at level 85, or something like that. 85 or 86, I don't remember. I'll take a look when, um, take a look after killing this behemoth. And it doesn't drop anything, just money. I thought it would drop another Omega Arts. I don't know why. Oh, we get a mithril from that. Uh, yeah, Sora's level 86. Let's see. Um, I've also been level grinding through um, Olympus Coliseum. I've been getting like about two to three levels per, um. <clears throat> There's an Angel Star. Uh, per round that I go through. Not like actual matches, but I'm talking about if I go through like 50 seeds of the uh, Olympus Coliseum, is basically what I'm saying. Let's see, open that up, and we get an elixir. Elixirs are pretty rare, I mean, but we've been collecting quite a few elixirs, and if you guys have been playing along with me, then, um, yeah, we should have plenty of elixirs. I mean, we really didn't use that many elixirs in the Sephiroth boss fight, well, I didn't at least. Or did I? I don't remember. Really another pretty stone? I don't want a pretty stone. I actually want something useful. Uh, let's see. Cottage? Yeah, that's alright, I suppose. Ooh, there's another treasure chest over there. I want to get it. Chances are it's going to be another fight. There's an invisible plot wall. No! Okay. Invisible plot wall has been eradicated. Wah! No oh, nuts. Now we get an AP up. You know what? I'm gonna use that on Sora right now. But yeah, you see, I got a lot of the um, synthesis items on for um, for the synthesis episode. So don't worry about that. Just you know, um, let's see. What do I want? Why not? Berserk and Vortex. Why not, viewers? Um, invisible plot wall, go away. And then in this treasure chest is... Another fight. And we get a gale from that! Pretty nice! Um, let's go ahead and proceed. And a giant orb of darkness is gonna crash on us. And there's another behemoth. Wind. Lovely. Nothing that we can take care of, right? Right. What are you doing? Dang it. Oh, nice. You're gonna stay down, and I to kill you. I'm going to rip your horn off and wear it around my neck. Because I am so... Um, what's that word again? I am so manly. 
Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Now, give me your money. Alright. I wonder where they is in Fuller Land. Diamond to the most dangerous place, and I found him. Oh god, my Donald voice is terrible. It's terrible. Board. Uh, let's go ahead and go down and see if we can find some treasure. Chances are that we're going to be finding gummy pieces, which are very not so necessary. So it's like, eesh. Okay, I was about to say, I'm gonna fall off the cliff, no! And, um, what the heck? I, something on my laptop saying something about an error, and I'm just looking at it, I'm like, what's going on? And I missed up what we saw, so I will see when I am editing. Oh, it, yeah, like I said, it's probably gummies. I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. I don't know. I uh, don't think there's anything else here. So, you know what? There's a save win that we can activate. So, let's go ahead and save over a file. And then proceed to go down the hole. Alright, so. We're in some very, very creepy place. Um, there will be these lights over here. Which will transport us to the next, um, column or whatever. And they have pillars of fire. Uh, so let's go ahead and go in here. And they're basically illusions of worlds that we have visited throughout our quest. So, they're just normal enemies. Nothing that that is impossible to take care of. So, and I do think you get some repeat items that you get from bosses. I am not exactly so sure. Uh, we'll see when we, uh, take care of the business, so. Let's go ahead and open up this treasure chest, and we get a spirit gem. So that's another synthesis item. I think those are pretty rare. Like I said in the synthesis guide episode, I am going to leave, um, links in the description for, uh, Synthesis items. Most likely, it'll be like something from Game Facts. So, kill the wizard! I can't do that kill the wizard thing right now. I don't know why. Just kill the wizard. Kill them all! <laughs> and it looks like everybody's been slain, so. We get a Thunder Gem, pretty nice. Um, it would help if I got some water too. And there we go, much better. What's in here? And we're back in the Olympus Coliseum. So, we are obviously still fighting repeat enemies. So... I don't think there's really much I can talk about around here, besides the fact that, you know... Um, the only difference in this revisit of... the, um, Olympus Coliseum is that it's nighttime.
Alright, get back here, you stupid wyvern. Get back over here! Dang it! Die! Thank you! I believe that's all the Heartless. Uh, where's that treasure chest? There it is! And we get a Frost Gem! Oh yeah! That is going to be very, very useful in, um, in synthesis. So, let us exit the Olympus Coliseum illusion. And head to the next pillar. I'm pretty sure the next one is Deep Jungle. Hey, hey, I was right. So yeah, before recording um, this episode today, what I did is that um, I did all the Final Mix exclusive Heartless. Except there is one Final Mix exclusive Heartless in this specific world. So I will be showing that when I get to when I get to the end, end of the world. So that will be part of the Synthesis Final Mix Exclusive Heartless Guide, yada yada yada. So we get a bright gem, nice, and let's get out of here. And then next one's Agrabah. It's pretty much going in order of where we were. And it looks like we got some bandits to deal with. Alright, there should be more Heartless around. Looks like everything's barred up, especially Aladdin's house, so... I guess it makes sense, because it's an illusion. there's any treasure around here. I'm pretty sure there is. Let's take a look. Aha! There's the hidden treasure. And inside is a blaze gem. Blazing, yeah! Alright, let's get out of here. And next is... Atlantica. Lovely. These Heartless. I just love them so much. No, not really. Ooh, another Frost Gem. Nice. I'm just lucky today. Um, in Atlantica, um, you would be able to go through this hole over here. But in the Illusion of Atlantica, you can't, which is kind of nice. And we get an AP up. Let's go ahead and use that on Sora. Oh, I got a defense up. May as well use that too. Ah, uh, there's really nothing I can do with the 1 AP. Carry on! Alright, and in here is probably Halloween Town. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, 
It made sense that they had to be in their aquatic form, the Atlantic Illusion. But, you know, it was pretty cool that they decided to put them in their Halloween Town costume. That's fine. Where's the search ghost? There you are! I still hate White Knights. They are annoying. No spazzing out ectoplasm today, sir. No, not today. And then in this treasure is Lucid Gem. Sweet. I'm pretty sure you get Lucid Gems from uh, Dark Balls, too, so... How much farther are we closing to leveling up? Okay. But, you know, we still need to... I want to get to level 90 before doing anything else, because Sora learns Lucky Strike. And with Lucky Strike, you know, it increases the chances of getting rare items. Aw, we can't, like, fly around in Neverland Illusion. Stupid! Hmm. What's going on? I'm pretty sure we have to go through here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was random. Um, where do we go? Up here? Oh, jeez. Alright, what about... Not here, not here. I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest that we can get here, so... There it is. And we get the Mighty Shield for Goofy, which we really don't need because Goofy has saved the king. Wait, what? It's more powerful than the Save the King shield? What? Uh, <laughs> insert dirty joke here. Look at Goofy's strength. Anyway, enough of that considering I'm playing a kid's game. Let's get out of here. I'm still going to keep Save the King uh, equipped because it is very much more useful than that mighty shield. Hmm? Oh, cool. Another save point. Is there a treasure chest we can get? Hey, game? I want to go back in. There it is. And we get a Mega Elixir. Nice. Where's that safe point? I knew there. I think the game is trolling me. There it is. Ah, uh, how are we doing on items? Alright, we're doing good. Now, let us go ahead and save over this file. Why the heck not? And let's go to the next pillar, which has fire! Huh, this is somewhere we haven't been before. Oh, boy, Invisibles. Honestly, Invisibles in a group are very difficult to deal with. Me no likey. Are there any more? Nope. Oh, wow. Why don't we put the uh, Saren's Eye over there? <laughs> Somebody photoshops that, then yeah. You're awesome. And we get an elixir for that. So, let's go ahead and examine this. 
ones born of the heart in darkness, devoid of hearts, ravage all worlds and bring desolation. Seize all hearts and cons consummate the great heart, all hearts to be one, one heart to encompass all. Man, that's pretty deep. Realize the destiny, the realm of kingdom hearts, the great darkness sealed within the great heart. Progeny of darkness, come back to the eternal darkness, for the heart of light shall unseal the path. Seven hearts, one keyhole, one key to the door, the door of darkness tied by two keys, the door of darkness to seal the light. None shall pass but shadows, returning to the darkness. Ones born of the heart in darkness, hunger for every heart until the dark door opens. Oh jeez, that was pretty freaking creepy. We're trapped, we're trapped, help! No, just kidding viewers, ooh we get a gale. And Sora learned MP Rage. Um, you know what, let's get rid of that tech boost and put the, um, MP rage to good use. Where are we? Okay, just double checking. Alright, so. We're good on potions, what about Donald and Goofy? We are good. Uh, yeah, we're good on that. Uh, abilities... Oh, wow, I didn't even equip abilities to Donald and Goofy. <laughs> I am stupid. No, not really. I can be smart sometimes. But, as always, Derpy Magus is Derpy. Oh, why not? I'll put that Lucky Strike. And that second win. And that cheer. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Actually, I don't need that right now. Um, Let's see. You know what? Why not? Why not? We'll give him more. Alright, so, just want to take a quick drink of my water. And now that I'm ready, let us go down the hole. But I'm going to set Tinkerbell on standby for this specific reason. time against Chernobog. Chernobog was from Fantasia. Basically what Chernobog depicts. Now, for those who are religious and all that, you know, don't get on religious and go and change and stuff. Alright, shut up about that. I'm not gonna have any of that. Uh, Chernobog in Fantasia is depicted as the devil. For this specific reason, which really uh, scares little children, is because in the um, Night Up Bald Mountain sequence, there were little demons, you know, they looked like they they had their souls taken out or whatever, and Chernobog is just watching them and he's just smiling evilly and all that creepy stuff. Um, by the way, if you land on top of the uh, volcano, you'll be able to use your summons, which is why I wanted to summon Tinkerbell right off the bat. But, um, oh, he's summoning orbs of doom. But Chernobog is depicted in Fantasia as Satan, if I remember correctly. 
so. And you know, at the end of the sequence, the light sunrise comes and Chernabog is covering his eyes with his arm or his knee or whatever, and then basically returns to hell. So yeah, that's it. That's a Chernabog fight, and that was pretty easy. No, I thought I'd give a little bit of a... Give a gist of where Chernabog came from. But, you know, if you guys haven't seen Fantasia, watch it. It's an amazing movie. There's no dialogue, no nothing. Just orchestra. Just plain old orchestra, which is what I like about Fantasia. And we learned the ability to super glide. I mean, I just like... I mean, I like music. I like classical music and all that stuff. And, you know, Fantasia was a perfect movie for me. Also, one of my... um, Another fact about me. Um, one of my favorite artists is Frank Sinatra. So, there you go. I actually have a Frank Sinatra CD somewhere. But, you know, I want to put more... Frank Sinatra music on my phone and, you know, listen to it when I drive. I don't know, I guess I kind of got that from my dad. But this is pretty cool. It's like a desolated ruin scene. Honestly, that looks like... I don't want to say, but I think that looks like the hut in Snow White in the Seven Dwarfs. I don't know why. By the way, I do want to play Birth by Sleep for, uh, for this channel. Even though I said on my Twitter that Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix may be my last Let's Play ever. Until Kingdom Hearts 3. But anyway, we are here at the, um, kind of a final threshold. Fighting the Behemoth. Once again. But we're going to have more Heartless attacking us after this. So, definitely be prepared. Alright. Come on. There we go. The behemoth is slain. And what do we get? So we can't get through that crest just yet. We have to fight more Heartless. You see how it's going to break apart? Just like that. So we keep fighting the Heartless until that Heartless Emblem Crest is broken. And yes, I understand that it is a very long episode today, so... All for the right reasons, too. And we get more Gale. Nice! I swear, we are going to be good for the Synthesis episode. I mean, Gale is kind of a super rare item. But, you know, it's not... Not impossible rare. So that invisible is gonna do a stupid little attack where he disappears and does an encircle spell on one of us and probably got goofy. Alright, I think we're on the last wave of Heartless. And we get another Gale. Like I said, we get from the Angel Star on top of that, so. No, this is not the final. I'm hoping this is the final wave of Heartless. I'm just hoping. Um, yep, that's it. That is it.
Alright, so let's go ahead and go in here. And this is all the time I'm going to have for this video today. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, leave comments in the comment section below, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Pokemon Miiverse for, I mean, uh, Nintendo Miiverse for more updates on Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Final Fantasy X, and Pokemon Fire Red videos. This is Dark Magus 1990 signing off, but first, we get a Mega Elixir. Have a good day.